Um, this, when I thought about doing this class, I wanted to do it because I never make my wife anything for Valentine's Day. I always remember it the day after. And that doesn't work out too well. So I thought, well, I'll make a, a music box. And uh, I'd never make a, made a music box before. So it's all new to me. Uh, when I was really young, my grandparents had a music box that we, every once in a while I got to touch it. And it was an antique even back then, but it was beautiful, really made really nice, nice noise. Uh, so I've always kind of had in the back of my mind to make a music box. Well, this is a perfect thing. And then I thought, well, I want to make one with a, uh, it brings me to something else, but I almost forgot. Uh, with a raised panel top, because I've never done that, and wanted to use a miniature uh, router bit set, a raised panel <coughs> router bit set. I've seen them around, they're pretty expensive, and I got talking to, uh, to David and, and Heather, and as well, we got the right thing, we got the thing for it. Uh, they just started, they brought in their own router bits. So we're in the back with, with uh, Bruce and I guess George, was it? And they're showing us these bits, and they, they just debuted these bits last Back week. Back to the... My thought about this, and I'm kind of disjointed about my, my little class here today, but the more I thought, I thought about, well, maybe I'll make a box, you have jewelry in it and things like that. You see these all the time with, with velvet and felt and things. And then I went up to Rockler, and I'll, a word about Rockler, too. Uh, I got... I'll pass this around, but I, I just want to do this as a as a little demonstration. Got a, uh, for, the first thing, yeah. The first thing that I did as I went I went up to Rockler and I bought this this movement. And uh, a word about Rockler, uh, they also give us a discount. So if you're interested in Rockler, you just tell them you're with the GWA. They're going to give you 10% off. It's not just here. And in, in your uh, contest to get new members, you can tell them Rockler too. You know, because I know a lot of us go there. Tommy, I knew, I've seen Tommy in that store. And I don't even, you, you get a deal. And then it also too, they actually give us, uh, depending, they have a... a a limit, they have a threshold, and they give us money back for the things that we buy. So, anyway, I'm looking at these things, and I'm thinking, Perhaps that's for the things that piece you don't care of right now. Yeah, right. But there's a, there's a, there's a lot of things that they, they have together, like for instance, uh, these router bits come from the same factory as Rockler's. So you can weigh that when you're doing it. But anyways, this is plain. <coughs> uh, oh boy. What's this going to do? You go? I mean, you can... You can hardly hear it. So, anyway... When you put my, it in a box, it makes more noise? Yeah. My plans. Like a sound, soundboard. My plans changed, and that's it. And Bob's going to need. He's smiling already, because he knows where I'm going here. So anyway, I, I was just going to use a plywood bottom, and I, I forgot a piece of plywood. But for the heck of it, I just held it up. Wow. wow. What a difference, you know? I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. So, and I tried plywood, and it was kind of dead. And I tried this. This is uh, aspen. And it makes a difference. So I started playing around with different kind of types of woods. And I thought, well, Bruce. this you know, I'm I'm learning here as I'm doing this. And it just led me in a different direction. So I decided, well, I'm just gonna do a small box with nothing in it. And what I ended up doing was uh, just taking some poplar. Then another Thing I wanted to do. I, we got a, a lot of guys here that are uh, very experienced, but I wanted to have a project that someone who, without the experience, could make a nice box, do it on a router table. 
and I wanted to do a project because all this like evolved. I'm just kind of telling you how it evolved in my mind. Uh, you don't need a joiner. You don't need a planer. You can just go buy a half-inch stock at Home Depot and make something like this. And it's, it's just uh, an easy thing to do. So anyways, when you put this back in here, it's amazing the difference. I'll pass this around. Yeah, you, if you would. Are. And then just pass that around. So we get we go to the top, and I originally thought put etched glass in it, and then I thought no, we need a soundboard. When I started playing with this, and it's really amazing the difference that it makes. So anyway, I just took some uh, piece of poplar, resawed it, and cut the pieces in the. Uh, uh, to be ready here for uh, yeah, for time sake. Now I'm getting all flustered. My kid came today and he told me that when he comes, I'm going gonna, gonna to get all flustered. And he's right. <laughs> he's my biggest critic. <laughs> so, anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the rail and the style, and. The rail in a style, it, you've got to start with a sample. You've got to make a sample to uh, get your heights. So that's what I did. And I just realized something else I forgot. So, anyway, an Allen wrench, long one. You got one? Not with me. Neither do I. All right. Uh, think about shop safety here. If you guys see me go to change a bit and I haven't unplugged the router, tell me. Because you've got to do that every time. You do not ever touch a router with it unplugged. 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 Yeah. It sounds funny, but you always know you're going to plug it. Same thing with saw blades. Is that true? Sure, bro. 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 Sure, So I've made a, a run a sample just to see what would make sure my uh, heights were right and it's, so it's aesthetically correct. So you just want to look. So then we're just going to adjust the height here to fit that and it does pretty close. About that. Uh, <clears throat> fence, it's got a bearing on it. And we want to take the fence, we want to keep that fence aligned with the bearing. So I use, you know, you know, John comes, he brings all his old tools he uses. Miller Falls. <laughs> this is my dad's, and I, I use it almost every day. And it's a great ruler. I mean, the old tools, just like John was telling the other day, old tools are they're built to last. So anyway, we're going to bring this up and make that even with the with the with the uh, bearing. Then we've got to check to make sure that that bit is going to clear our fence. You know, this is a very simple fence, but it's a pretty nice one. I use an Incra fence at home like Ken does. I really like it. So that should be it. 
Well, we would when you need it. Maybe you need it a little bit. Uh, so we go ahead and plug the router back in. You like the guy in the router workshop, you know? And see if it turns. <coughs> and it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's plugged in. What, is the cord plugged in? Plugged in. Did this get? Tool. Is the router itself? Yeah, it's plugged in. Yeah, that's the that's a client router you got, bro. No, this is the switch on the router itself. No, it shouldn't have been. We, we did this yesterday. It should be on. How about the switch on your, on your system there? On the vacuum. It should be working. Plugged in. Let's try the vacuum. Will you come through that switch? Try that. Do have power there. <coughs> Leave it on, then, then try it. Did somebody unplug this on me? No, no, no. Open up the front seat. Yeah, it should have been on yesterday. Yeah, this. Ah, somebody was. Somebody played with my router. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, if everything turns, we're not hitting anything. This is actually a nice little setup. This is a prototype vacuum that Peachtree is going to have. It, it, it turns on with the, uh, it's, it's modeled after a fine, and they're a very expensive vacuum. I don't know what they're going to be, but it seems to work pretty good. So I've just got an extra piece, and I know some of you have these. Everybody know what this is? Yeah. yeah. This is the best thing you're ever going to buy for safety in your shop. It's called the gripper. They're pretty expensive, but they work. Uh, I use it on the table saw, the band saw, the joiner, the router table. I would never, ever try to do this. Never, ever. But with this system, you can do it. I'm not trying to sell these, but it works. All you do is you put that piece up against the fence, you've got your little pad, and then this thing slides up and down, and it's, it balances it. Then you just tighten it up. And now, your hand's away from that bit. So we'll see what we got. I could hear the noise, but I was I was thinking it was something with this router. I'm not used to this router. My mine sounds completely different. But we'll do it again. But we can do that again with this. Now it sounds better. So I'm getting some chatter there, and I don't know why. It might be the.